Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be making a fidget spinner. We're going to look at the emboss deboss tool as well as creating joints and components. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to start this one off with the bearing already in place. You can see in the timeline that I've uh, put that in already. So if we have a look at our technical drawing here, we can see the diameters for where the bearing slots in as well as the outer rings. So I'm going to start by creating the center diameter circle in the middle and then the center diameter circle out there at 22.4 and 13.2 radius so that would be 26.4. Create a sketch on the top plane. center diameter circle, put that out to 22.4. Then I'll do another center diameter circle here, also 22.4. And then the second one, 26.4. Then we'll put a horizontal constraint over there. So now those two will be lined up. Now we just need to check the distance that they are apart. Now these circles are 30 millimeters apart. So we'll just dimension that. Then we can pattern this all the way around. And then we've got that 16 millimeter radius there. So 30 millimeters distance and 16 millimeter radius. D for dimension. And 30 millimeters. Now let's go to our circular pattern. We'll select these two points and the center point will be our origin. You can see that it's automatically selected three and the spacing is even. We'll go okay. Now we're going to do a center diameter circle. You can kind of put this anywhere. That radius was 16 so the diameter will be 32 and we'll make this tangent to this edge as well as this edge. You can see these won't move because they fully constrained. Now T for trim and we'll take that out the way. Now we'll just pattern this curve three times as well. So create circular pattern. The object is that curve. Center point again is our origin. And there we go. We see it's got it nicely lined up there. Now I'm gonna go T and trim these. And there we can see it's still fully constrained. Finish sketch. Now we need to extrude this up. Let's go check how high. So we need to extrude this up seven millimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I see there's a one millimeter radius that's showing us diameter so half that one millimeter radius on all edges there we go we can see it over there select extrude and seven we'll select a new body we'll convert this into a component just now fillet tool select this whole face as well as the underside and it's going to be one millimeters. Okay. Now let's start adding a bit of color to it. Then we'll convert it into a component and put in our motion joint. To add color to this, I'm just going to right click on the body there and go to appearance. I'm going to type in red here. Then we've got this anodized glossy red. We're going to make sure it's over the whole body and not just the face. And there it's changed color for us. So we've got our fidget spinner. I do want to add a little something to it. So I want to put some text over here. I'm going to create a sketch, select this face. And we're going to go create sketch and do a center point R. Click in the center and just draw it out like that. 
that should be fine. Then we'll go to create, text, and we're going to select text along path and this path. So I'm going to make that fusion fundamentals. I can see that it's on, but for some reason it's upside down. So we can flip it on the horizontal and the vertical. And I'll just space this out so it's centered. Maybe make this a bit bigger. Let's see what that looks like. No, that's way too big. So 1.2, that looks good. Let's get our spacing right. I'm happy with that. Finish sketch. Now I've, I've shown before, we can either extrude this in or we can use the emboss deboss tool. So I'm gonna select emboss tool and we're gonna set that to deboss. Our sketch profile will be the text we've just created and the face will be the face of the fidget spinner. And it's going in 0 0.4 mils. That should be fine. So we select okay and it's just gonna put that on there for us. That looks quite good. But now I wanna pattern that as well. So I'll go to create, pattern, and circular pattern. I'm gonna set that to features, and the feature will be our emboss, and the axis will be any one of these circular axes that you can select there. Set it to three, okay. Now we've got our emboss, on all sides there. I could mirror it onto the back, but I'm, I'm happy with that being just on the top. Now I'm gonna to go to this body and convert it into a component. So we'll right click on it. Maybe just rename it first. Call it spinner body. Right click, create components from bodies. So the reason I'm doing this is because you can't create joints between bodies. It has to be a component. So we've got that there, now we'll create our joint. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna turn off the bearing so that it doesn't overlap onto that. Select our joint, this body. I want it to be on this body in the center there. So I can see that that's on the top there. Sometimes it doesn't quite line up with where you want. Body two, let's turn this on and it'll be this. So we'll select that as well. As you see now it's kind of shifted it on the z-axis. So what I'm gonna do is just realign it on the z-axis. So we can just check a front view there and let's see, this will be maybe minus one. So it looks like it shifted up a millimeter because it was slightly off. Maybe I went in on the bottom of that fillet. So we could redo that or we could just leave it like this. So I'll leave it like that. Into our top view or Get a bit of an isometric view. And what you can do is you can, on that little blue flag over there, if you right click on it, you can go down to animate joint and it's gonna rotate and show you the motion that you've set. So that's how you do a motion joint and make a fidget spinner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section. I will leave this technical drawing in a Google Drive folder and a link in the description. Until next time, bye.